one one question I had um, for you. Uh, also, when we were together in the offices, but like never like uh, spoke for for too long or even like an hour straight, was how does one um, how does one navigate in in the in the industry when when all the trends shift and uh, how how the fuck do you like revive the the agent um, not the agents the artists uh, career as you said uh, with uh, Yosh? Um, how how Where, where did you start? How, 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 how was, what was your thinking behind it, you know? To be honest, we also, uh, we also were talking about that uh, recently because it's kind of a bit surprisingly that it uh, switched now from a few months from like uh, or, or during, the ha during the last six months probably. Um, it switched from very uh, difficult times to get get him booked especially in uh, in Europe because in, in the US it's kind of different uh, there, there, he, there he played uh, always way more than uh, in Europe the, the last years <clears throat> and then the, the shift came very very fast of the last month and uh, yeah I think we, we put a lot of hard work in it uh, Josh always uh, is producing music he's always delivering he's still a great dj but uh, yeah probably it's it's because of the the trend is like going a bit more to the classic music like uh, you know all, all all the hits old music is uh, more and more present these days but the funny thing on the other side is that josh is absolutely not doing uh, is absolutely producing and doing actual music so he's he's not uh, when he plays he's not that kind of classic DJ he, he's not he totally avoids and not into playing like uh, old school parties or classic parties but uh, yeah I think the the constant work he did and we did together and a few key shows I think like Berghain or Neo Pop Festival and a few others like Ibiza and yeah like The key shows helped a lot and yeah, a lot of promoters coming back and even younger, younger promoters now having him uh, on the radar more and more again. And yeah, so, but to be honest, I don't have that answer on it. It's just uh, nice and amazing uh, for, for us to see that it works out. But yeah, we're still thinking about that, to be honest. Yeah, but as you, but uh, to me, you, you gave a very straight answer, you know, because um, a lot of, not that we have that much uh, the, um, th that um, myself and David, of course, David now uh, way more uh, than myself experience, you know, in, in like the booking and stuff and the like artist management. But um, a lot of like younger or people the same age that are also artists here from Slovenia, like ask um, or just want to be somehow seen, you know, but they they don't get the 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 thing when they have to like constantly work for a certain amount of years especially in the like in the in um if you're from slovenia when when the market is not that, that big uh even harder you know and sometimes it's really hard to to tell them or even be real with yourself that it's not gonna take three or four years it's gonna take seven eight ten years of constantly putting out something um and that's what You told us, you know, he was, Josh was constantly yeah. putting out, constantly working, even though he was not uh, getting the most bookings. Um, but just like the passion, I guess, and the drive he has uh, for the music and constant work. And, uh, yeah. that's, and, uh, and he, he stood, and he stood uh, very true to himself. He didn't follow new trends. He, he didn't want to do hard techno or trance or whatever. He said... I want to do my music. I want to release and produce that music I feel and I stand for. And yeah, that, that's what he did. 